Hi all, this is Maria Clark at Sweet Willow Designs and welcome to my studio. Today I have a heart bouquet project for you. I hope you enjoy this. Let's get started. So for Valentine's I found these wood hearts at the Dollar Tree and they're a pretty thin sort of uh, chipboard. I've uh, coated them with two coats of the DecoArt chalky paint uh, to get them ready and I have a traceable that's available in my Etsy shop, uh, there's a pattern and includes this traceable. The size of the heart is about eight and seven eighths inches wide and eight and seven inches um, in length. So I will trace that pattern using the serial transfer paper and just get that oriented on there. I think this is a really pretty holiday project and it doesn't have to be on a heart. Uh, it's a it's a spring bouquet, so any kind of surface you wanted to do this on canvas, you don't have to use a cutout. You can certainly just uh, work on any kind of surface that you like. So I'll be using a variety of colors in this uh, project. I I will be starting with a color called eggplant, which is um, one of the uh, deco art multi surface paints, and I will use. I will use my N15 10 millimeter crochet hook to get uh, my center dot. And then I'll use my largest nail dotter. I will be alternating the eggplant and festive green. I have to take a little bit of that paint off because I went one over too far. So I want to re kind of fix that a little bit. Just use a damp Q-tip and roll that paint off and then go back in and scrub out any excess. If you do have to repaint the background, just go ahead and do that. And go back in and finish getting my purple dots down. And now I'm going in with the festive green. And I will alternate those. Same size tool. And at the bottom I will put three of the festive greens because this is where the stems for my bouquet will go. And now I'm going in with the K10.5, 6.5 millimeter, and I will place my centers. These are going to start to form uh, the flowers of my bouquet. There will be five on the first row. And then I'll use a little bit of the titanium white snow, uh, mix it in with that eggplant and get a lighter shade of purple and I will walk the dots around each one of those main dots with the lighter shade. And we'll basically use the same pattern each time we make one of these flowers. You'll see I went back in with a smaller tool just to give a little bit more definition to those um, the end of that walked uh, the row that's walked just because they fade a little too much sometimes. And we'll go all the way around. Just fill those in a little bit more, give them a little bit more definition. And I will add a little bit more eggplant to get a slightly darker shade. So in each one of these flowers, there's the center dot, there's a lighter shade, a darker shade, and then the original uh, color from the center on each of the three rows. Same thing, we'll just walk dots around.
and we're going to use exactly the same pattern on each row. I'm just going to change out the color and on this particular row I'm using a color called Laguna and of course as always these are from the uh, deco art line. I will add a little bit of white to get my lighter shade and just continue the pattern around. Now we are ready to go in with our third color. And I'm using a color called Dragon Fruit. Same process, get our main dots down, get a lighter shade, and go all the way around. Same pattern for each of these uh, flower rows. Mixed up my uh, mid-tone there for that center row of walking the dots. And now I'm going in using the dragon fruit again right above that laguna. You can see I got one out of the place there. And then same process. Row of the light, walk those around, and then the mid-tone, and then the dark. I'm only going to go part way around because I won't be able to make it all the way around with um, with the nail daughter. So I'll go back in and fill those in with a slightly smaller tool, as you can see there. And I might have to go over those a little bit. Oh, I missed a row on that previous, so I'll go back in with my third row of walking the dots around. That's with the original shade, the center color. That's how my basic bouquet of flowers looks. And now we're going to go in and add the stems and leaves. And this is kind of a free form. Again, I have the pattern available, so I'm just going to follow that along. And then I'll even do 
a little extra just to fill it in if I feel like I need to. And this is really just a matter of following the lines, using a nail dotter to walk the dots down so they're smaller, just kind of adding some variety. Sometimes I use a little larger hook. I use my G64 uh, millimeter to add uh, little larger dots. And it's really just a matter of um, putting stems in. You'll see that I change it occasionally and just kind of walk, walk dots. Just keep swirling those around. If you need to add extras, just add extras to kind of fill in your space a little bit. These are just meant to be representative, so they're not necessarily perfect. And I'll just add a few more. And then just keep adding and filling in until you feel like you've you've got enough there. And we just keep adding till we think we've got what we like. And that's kind of a uh, distance view of how the pattern's looking so far. And now what we're going to do is we're going to put a border around. I'm going to be using my G6 four millimeter and I'm just going to go ahead and dot all the way around the edge, just being as consistent as I can. One thing I wanted to mention here is when you get down to this tip, kind of decide if you think you're going to meet up evenly. If not, you might change that center, that tip element. You might put a little larger dot to just kind of fill in the space. And we'll do the other side in exactly the same way. And there again, I'm kind of looking at where I'm at there, and it looks good to me. I can get my center uh, tip, the very tip, and then um, fill in on either side. And that looks pretty good. Now I'm going in, same uh, thing that I did, I just lighten up the, this is the dragon fruit that's on the edge here, just lightened it up with a little bit of white, the snow, titanium white, to make a lighter shade. And I'll go all the way around, placing my dots, I'm using the larger nail dotter, but placing my dots in the V of those previous dots in between them. And now I'm going to go in with the festive green and I'm just going to add another little green dot in between. Use whatever size tool works to get that dot in or if you need to go out a little bit you can go out a little bit too. Now that I finished the border I'm going to go ahead and take off all of my lines and I use the serral transfer paper. There are links in the description it's real easy to get that off and I'm going to go ahead and start top dotting. 
Now I'm going to top dot with cadmium yellow and just find a smaller size tool to use to put your first layer of top dots. And that yellow is just going to give it a little bit of a pop. All right, I've got all my first layer of top dots on the flowers, and now I'm just going to go in and add some little dots out into the bouquet, uh, as we might have other little flowers that are part of the bouquet, and just put three dots down. I'm using the cad yellow and just randomly placing those. and just randomly place a few little single dots just to fill it in. I'm not trying to overfill it, I'm just trying to give the illusion of a bouquet. And I'll go in with the dragon fruit and do the same thing, just put a little of the three dot designs down and then single dots. Just fill that in a little bit more. Now I've let that dry and I'm going in for my final layer of top dots and I'm using orange flame right on top of that cadmium yellow and that'll just give it a little extra dimension. I think this is such a pretty design. And we'll finish our dot in the center. And here's our final piece. I will varnish this to give it a little bit of shine. And I think it's a really sweet uh, holiday bouquet. It would be great for Mother's Day, actually. This would be a nice Mother's Day gift. Thanks so much for joining me in my studio. I appreciate you. Uh, please uh, subscribe, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment. I love hearing from you. As always, thanks for joining me in my studio. Take care.